Hello students, your instructor here, John Mandela, with another screencast. This one in Illustrator, and it's be about columns, setting up your own columns. The reason why this is video worthy is because unlike InDesign, there's not an option when you start a new document to create columns. So what we're going to do here is I have a standard 8.5 by 11 page, uh, the portrait orientation. And I'll just click OK. And here's my document. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a rectangle. And I'm just going to instead of drawing one out, I'm just going to click and I'm going to make it 7.5 by 10 and that's because I want it to be half inch from each side so I'll do that, click OK and it may not be a line where you want it so I'm just going to give it a color so it's real easy to see and I'm going to eliminate the stroke um, I know that might adjust the um, height and width ever so slightly but I'm not going to worry about that right now and then I'm going to go align and align this to the artboard and then center it and center it. This align, I'll set that back to selection. So now this is here. So what I'm going to do now is go to uh, Object, Path, Split into Grid. In this case, let's say I want a five column grid setup. So I'm going to go to Columns here, Five. My gutters, I'll make them, let's just say, 0.25 inches. I can preview this and this gives me that and maybe that's a little bit big so I'll just try 0.2 that's a little better and I'll click OK so I now have a five column grid structure but I don't really need these rectangles I just need guides like InDesign gives me, they give me guides that I can use for my columns that are essentially invisible uh, once the piece is printed so to do that go to, go to view guides make guides and now I've made guides and I have my smart guides on. So anything I make now, so if I'm going to, let's say, draw a rectangle, it'll snap from here to here and be that big. Another thing you're going to want to do once you have set up your guides is go to View, Guides, Lock Guides. I already have mine locked. Uh, but you're going to want to make sure they're locked so that they work just the way that InDesign's do, so you can't accidentally select them and move them around. So I have this here, and I can have, let's say, a text box that is exactly three you know columns wide and I can just work within this um, nice five column framework I've given myself so this is great when you're doing uh, single page uh, documents InDesign would be much better for multi-page although Illustrator has the opportunity for multiple artboards but if you're just doing a single page document in Illustrator this is the way you can get some guides set up quite quickly for columns there are templates you can use, I know, I understand that. But this is the way that you can set them up and create your own guides exactly how you want. If we were in the uh, make into grid, so of course you can specify rows if you want, not just columns. But this is a quick way to get columns that you can use for the architecture of your layout. That's all I got. Goodbye.